Welcome to ACMA. If you're watching this, you probably know a little bit about ACMA, enough to be curious anyway about who we are and whether this might be a good fit for you. You may have seen an art show or a performance, heard a concert, seen our dancers or actors on stage, or maybe visited an open mic night. We are all of these things, but as much, or even more, ACMA is what happens before the curtain goes up. We're the caring community who builds sets, rehearses, and engages in the creative process of making art. We're also a school where academics matter, and whether it's hands-on science in the hallways, learning to write in English class, studying a language, or learning history or math, we're a school where students can get their academic and artistic needs met. Walk down our hallways and you'll see dancers, sculptors, artists, and students making connections. ACMA is a place where students can be themselves and be part of something very, very special. Just about 700 students call ACMA home, drawing from all corners of the Beaverton School District. Students are on an A-B schedule with four classes each day, including a supervised study, which to our over 30 crowd, it's a little like a study hall, where students can get a head start on any homework. ACMA students meet the same academic standards as all students in BSD, though we take a decidedly artistic approach to all we do. And all of our electives, other than languages, AVID and the sixth grade wheel, are in communications or the visual and performing arts. A dozen buses bring our students to campus early. School begins at 720, and buses arrive earlier than that. We end the school day at 2.05. This gives students the time to take a school bus to their neighborhood high school if they are high schoolers interested in participating in sports. ACMA has a robust special education program with three special education teachers and services for students learning English. In addition, there are many clubs at ACMA and students are encouraged to get involved in campus life. We are fortunate at ACMA to have a fantastic campus including beautiful theater, a recording studio, and amazing spaces for music, art, dance, and more. Some people ask, you have 6th through 12th grade students under the same roof? Yes, and it's awesome. As a 6th through 12th grade school, we often get asked if middle school students and high schoolers have classes together. For 6th grade, not so much. And for core classes, students mostly are divided by grade level. For some other classes, particularly art selectives, we do see some mixed grade classes. And we see this as a strength. Students can attend ACMA for seven years, just like Hogwarts. And we see our program as a seven year continuum. We get to know students and students to get to know staff and peers so well in those seven years. Most of our teachers teach both middle and high school. And that familiarity can be fantastic. Heck, you wouldn't stop reading Harry Potter after the Prisoner of Azkaban. But you're watching this because you're curious about ACMA, and it's our hope to take you behind the scenes to learn a little bit more about our school. You may have seen a performance, for instance, and we're proud of those accomplishments, but that dance piece you might have seen performed with students from our orchestra only happened after hours and hours of practice. Art, in all of its forms, takes work, and ACMA students are committed to working hard, collaborating, and supporting each other through the process. We know that murals take time and planning and teamwork. And when we are willing to do that work, we can end up with something special. The investments students make in their futures, academically, artistically, pay off when our students walk across stage at graduation. For many, that academic journey begins in sixth grade. And at ACMA, all sixth graders take a sixth grade wheel. It's a mix of classes of artistic electives and academic supports in a series over the course of the year. First quarter, for instance, students might take instrumental music. The next quarter, they might have a section of mindfulness. The next quarter, they might be in film. And they could finish the year in choir. The specific parts of the sixth grade wheel change from year to year, but it's our hope that as they finish the year, they have a better overall picture of the options we have here at ACMA. Part of that picture is our core academic classes, which include a variety of English classes, including English electives, history options, including advanced placement classes. 
There's lots of hands-on science and math up through AP Calculus. High school students can take for Spanish or French from beginning to advanced placement. And anyone curious can go on our ACMA website and look for the academic program guide. It's here that you can see the course descriptions and get a sense of classes, academic and elective, that we offer here at ACMA. But students really come to ACMA for classes that speak to their souls. And this includes many artistic electives that help define our school. Among these classes is a robust offering of performing arts classes with theater courses including acting, theater design, and tech theater. We have several levels of dance, from introductory to our pre-professional dance company, Dance West, and jazz, orchestra, and choral music at a variety of levels. In the visual arts, we have 2D and 3D art. The variety of art classes at ACMA is something we're proud of, and that we're able to offer classes from painting to printmaking, sculpture to book arts, is something we're proud of. We also have photography, and one of the only actual dark rooms around, design, and art history classes. And not to leave communication out of the mix, it's in the name of our school after all, we have a full slate of creative writing classes, publish an anthology and arts magazine every year. And we have a small, strong film program and growing animation department. The arts are the focus and are placed at the core of all we do here at ACMA. We hold our students to the same standards of all BSD students, but we take a different approach to our work including deliberate artistic themes embedded in all of our contact areas. It isn't easy academically, but we do our best to bring a creative approach to all we do. Now, up until this point, I've done my best not to read you the slides in this presentation. But this one is worth sharing aloud. It's our mission statement, and it goes like this. Arts and Communication Magnet Academy's innovative educational community engages all students and staff in achieving academic and artistic excellence. We ignite the human need to create and question by honoring both the unique characteristics and the interdependence of all disciplines of study while weaving a rich collaborative tapestry of experience. Well, that sounds a little corny, that's okay. Sometimes we're a little corny. But the truth is, we believe it. And students and staff who call ACMA home are okay with a little purple prose like weaving a rich collaborative tapestry of experience. We do that weaving together every day. And what does it look like? Well, it's a little different than you'd see at a comprehensive school. We don't have a football team or any sports at ACMA, though students can, and are often do, play athletics at boundary schools. We have a fantastic homecoming, but it's not centered around athletics. We have advanced placement classes and lots of subjects, but as a small school, we just don't have the numbers that allow every AP class you might see at a school of 2,000 students. We're not a neighborhood school. Instead, we draw from the attendance areas of every comprehensive school in Beaverton. We see this as a plus, a great opportunity for students to meet peers who share their love of art, even if they live on the other side of town. We're not a comprehensive school, but we do what we do well. And what you'll find at ACMA is students who are curious, creative, and kind. We have high expectations and open minds, and we strive to create and maintain a welcoming environment for every student. I know there's a lot of information, and I know it's still not everything. As you learn more about ACMA, I'd encourage you to find out all you can and engage in honest conversations as a family. Check out ACMA's website. Because the purpose of this info night, such as it is, is to help you make the best decision for you. We know that ACMA is perfect for some students, and Meadow Park is perfect for some, some students, and Sunset is perfect for some students. Beaverton, Mountain View, Conestoga, and ISB, each are perfect for some students. It's not about getting you here. It's about you finding where you'll be at home. So, I'm going to invite all my prospective ACMA students to take out an imaginary pencil. Hold it in the air and tick off the statements that feel true for you. I love to read and I love to write. I'm not afraid of working hard. I love being around different and interesting people. I want to try new things, even difficult things. The idea of exploring subjects deeply is exciting to me. I'm nice. The arts define me and have always been an important part of my learning and my understanding of the world. 
If that's you, that's fantastic. If it's not, that's perfectly okay too. And now is the time to be really honest about whether ACMA sounds like the place you'd like to call your educational home. We want you to be happy, supported, and in the right place. And it's a conversation worth having as a family. And if ACMA is it, well, what next? We encourage you to apply. We bring in half of our new students through lottery and the other half through what's called second consideration. What that means is you can submit your application now and any time before the window closes on December 8th at 3 p.m. this year. The district will conduct the lottery and inform us and you of who gets in during this randomized first round. If you do, great. If not, don't worry. Once we know the outcome of the lottery, we invite every student who applied but is not yet in to come to second consideration. It's at this time that students share a little bit about their chosen pathway, dance, film, art, music. They meet with a teacher and share their interest in attending ACMA. We need second consideration applications by January 8th. Thank you all so much for listening to our information tonight. We wish you all the best as you find the school that's right for you.